Hello, it's John Spita, back with a step-by-step -step vector art tutorial for you on how to color and shade a line art in Adobe Illustrator. And without further ado, let's do it. We have this line art from the previous tutorial. If you haven't watched how I drew this, click on the top right corner of your screen to watch it now. If you are new to this channel, be sure to subscribe and turn on the bell so you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. The next thing is uh, to match all these lines together. And before we match them, let's make sure all the lines are connected so we don't have problems later when we are coloring so here we have this let's connect these lines now it seems like everything's okay now so what we're going to do is uh we're going to, to use the selection tool here and we're going to select everything then we're going to go to object come to expand appearance then we come here to click on merge if you don't see this pathfinder panel here come to windows and you'll find pathfinder down here So now we are done merging all the lines together. Now you can see if you try to drag this, it moves all together. No line is left behind. So the next thing we're going to do is, uh, we're going to make a copy of this line art. And we're going to be dragging the line art layer over the new layer icon here to make a copy. We drop it here and you will automatically see line layer 2 copy. So we're going to lock the copy and we'll continue with our line at layer 2. So now we're going to choose a skin tone to apply on this. Double click on the fill tool and it will automatically open the color picker. So from the color picker, we can choose a skin tone, a lighter skin tone for this. Just like it is in the photo. We can try to sample from here, but it won't really look good. No matter, I just choose from here to resemble that. This is good. So we're going to grab our rectangle tool and we're going to drag it over the line art like this so it fills the whole artboard now we're going to right click on the rectangle and come to arrange then come to send to back click on send to back and when you click on send to back for you to know that you've done it right, you look at uh, the layer 2 here, the line art layer, and you'll see that it's already applied on the line work. So now we're going to use the selection tool to select everything. And we're going to merge it again. We're going to merge the skin tone with our lines. Again, right click on the rectangle and click on isolate selected group. Now it's in isolation mode. Click on the rectangle and press the delete key on your keyboard. And it's gone. Now we're going to color this and we'll start with the eyes. We're going to make these parts white. So hold down shift while making multiple selections. While selecting two or three parts, you hold down shift just like I've done. and make them all white but not regular white just around here we are going to make these parts of the eye brown we're going to color the lips
going to make this one black here this one will be white just around here I think we are done coloring you can exit isolation mode by pressing a skip key on your keyboard now we're going to lock this layer and we'll create a new one on top of it and this is the layer where we're going to start shading so before we start we're going to sample the skin tone using the eyedropper tool here or press i press letter i on your keyboard Then we're going to sample this skin tone and it will automatically appear on this fill tool. Double click on the fill tool and we'll bring the shadow down here. We're going to start with the darker shadows first. Now we're going to bring back our photo layer so we can shade directly on it and we'll put off, we'll turn off layer 2 so we can see the photo layer. The places we're going to shade are these ones with shadows, the darker shadows are this here beneath the eyes, around here, below the nose, beneath the ears, here, here. These are the places we're going to shade first. Start with the eyes here. And throughout the shading phase, we will be using the pencil tool only until the end to shade everything and even to draw the hair, to draw this realistic hair later on. So we we'll start here, this part. Let's see how it looks. Awesome. Let's continue. We will also draw this side, the shadows here on this side. We're done with this layer we will also create another one below it we'll do the same thing sample the skin tone and bring it down a little bit Just here. 
And let's bring back our photo layer. And turn off the base color so we can see what we're drawing. We we'll start here. Now we're done with this layer. We will create a highlights layer on top of all the shadow layers, just below the copy of layer two here. Maybe we will rename it as highlight for you not to get lost. So 
So we will do the same thing, sample the skin tone, and we're going to choose the brighter skin tone all the way up here. So we'll turn off the base color so we can see the photo. And we'll start here.
so now we're going to put uh, a new layer and put it above all the layers for the hair so we're going to shake the hair so we're going to turn off the rest of the layers except the copy of layer 2 and we're also going to make visible the photo layer We are going to use the gradient to make the stroke and still we are using the pencil tool to make the hair so we make sure we turn off the fill tool and only use the stroke to make the gradient make sure the stroke is on and click on gradient tool here if you don't find the gradient here you can come to windows and then you will find gradient here let's put a, a gradient slider in the middle we'll put it here at 50 percent Then we will make both sides black as the hair. So we will click on this side and use the color picker to pick the black color from the hair. We'll do the same this side. Use the color picker to pick the black color from the hair. So all both sides are black. So we'll make the middle white color really white. We'll edit here to make it sound not white but brown. Guy has brown hair. So let's try to make it like this. Yeah, this is perfect. Then we can reduce the opacity to 40%. Let's move the slide as close to the middle white color a little bit like this. This is perfect. Now grab your pencil tool and start drawing. Turn off the copy of layer two to shade directly on the hair. like this amazing the next thing we're going to do is uh we're going to lock this layer and we'll create a, a layer for the background we'll place it above the photo layer here so we're going to use we're going to use the rectangle tool to create the background and we're going to turn off the stroke tool and we'll only use the fill tool to create it so drag rectangle tool over the artboard like this. 
double click on the fill tool to choose a color that you like this one is good now we can lock it if you are not already subscribed to this channel and you want to learn more vector art tips and tricks to improve your skills hit the subscribe button as always thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time